Hey guys, it is Mike with the Come the Night. Welcome back to another reaction video. This one was slightly clickbait. For those of you who clicked on this and have no idea who I am, I am not strictly a metalhead. I'm more of a prog head. If you're not sure what prog rock or prog metal is for the layman, it's good music. I know you might not be familiar with what that is, but it's okay. We'll educate you in time. And some of you might be saying, Mike, you've gotten slightly more pretentious over time. I would say, no, just more confident. Also, the name is Mike the Music Snob in the fucking title that you can see below or up top if you're full screen. Do the fucking math, please. If you are not familiar, I hate most modern pop hits. And this is my hot takes of Billboard's list of verbatim greatest of all time pop songs artists. I shit you not, verbatim the name of this list. That should already prep my asshole for this wonderful butt fucking I'll be getting from the list. In the interest of time, I'm going to go from number one to number 50. Here we go. Number one, Rihanna. Um, I don't get it. She's not the worst singer, but she's definitely not amazing by any stretch of the imagination. Overrated, in my opinion. Number two, Pink. Good songs, good voice, decent lyrics, just not my thing. Number three, Maroon 5. The walking casualties of the music industry. Went from a pussified rock band into a pussified machine. Number four, Katy Perry. She has a great voice, needs a psychiatrist. Number five, Justin Timberlake. He has an excellent voice, a uh, very talented guy. I absolutely hate his hit songs. Number six, Britney Spears. <laughs> Number seven, Taylor Swift. She's fucking nuts and stuck in a bubble of her own making. Good songwriter, just annoying. Number eight, Kelly Clarkson. Great voice, that's about it. Her songs are pretty bland to me. Number nine, Mariah Carey. She has an amazing voice, and I actually do like some of her songs as well. Number 10, Bruno Mars. For a guy who pretty much rehashes in all of his songs, he does it better than anyone I know of. Awesome voice and writes some really, really catchy tunes. Number 11, Usher. Excellent voice, decent writer. I'd say he's a better dancer. His song, Yeah, is one of my guilty pleasures. Number 12, Lady Gaga. I have talked extensively about her already. Arguably the best vocals in the game today. Good writer. 13, Black Eyed Peas. Their music is annoyingly manufactured. Fergie sings great. That's about the extent of the compliments I'll extend to them. 14, Christina Aguilera. Great voice that was underutilized. She is a victim of bad branding and bland songwriting. Number 15, Janet Jackson. I really don't know why she's a thing other than the obvious reason why she's a thing. Number 16, Madonna. Don't make me puke, please. Number 17, Flo Rida. What the fuck is he doing on this list? Number 18, Beyonce. Amazing vocalist and dancer. I still don't get the hype. Her songs are okay to me. Like, her hits are really good to someone else. I just don't get it. They're not classics to me. I, I don't get the appeal. Number 20, Nickelback. Just their presence on this list alone says more than I will ever have to about Nickelback. Number 21, Matchbox 20. Wow, did not expect them to be on this list, let alone this high on this list. I have a soft spot for them. I grew up with them. I like their songs. Number 22, J-Lo. She's got a good voice. Never really cared for her songs, but they didn't annoy me. Number 23, Eminem. Arguably the greatest rapper living today and or all time. I love a lot of his catalog. Number 24, Chris Brown. Lol. Number 25, Nelly. Very overrated. His song Hot In Here is a guilty pleasure of mine, though many of you would probably prefer to blow your brains out. Rest of his catalog is literally trash. 26, Avril Lavigne. Meh. Just meh. Number 27, Justin Bieber. Excellent voice. Hate his songs. I will say he's a lot less douchey than he used to be. Number 28, Backstreet Boys. This is my secret weapon for getting cute girls to sing karaoke with me. 29, Pitbull. Arguably the worst thing to happen to music in the 2000s and 2010s. Number 30, Kesha. Don't know enough to form a really strong opinion. My gut says no. Number 31, Selena Gomez. <laughs> Oh, God, sorry about that. Number 32, In Sync. There are some songs by them I would consider my guilty pleasures. Other than that, gross. Number 33, Adele. Excellent voice, great writer. She, she's just classy and classic, I would say. Number 34, Alanis Morissette. 
I only really know two of her songs. Her voice just bugs me. Number 35, Calvin Harris. I love how they give you like the top five most popular songs of the artist and four out of the five of them, he's not even singing on the fucking thing. His writing annoys me because it's recycled as fuck. Number 36, Ed Sheeran. Possibly makes me angrier than Pitbull. Overrated as a writer, I think Taylor Swift actually writes better. Number 37, Destiny's Child, also known as Beyonce's Backup Singers. Number 38, Three Doors Down. I liked them when I was younger, uh, mostly annoyed by them now. Number 39, Neo, arguably Keanu Reeves' best role. Number 40, Celine Dion, Canada's national treasure. You're welcome, samurai guitarist. Number 41, Boys to Men, AKA the Black Street Boys. Never really bothered me. I don't think I had any affinity to any of their songs, but they're really good singers. Gotta say that. Number 42, The Weeknd. I still don't get the hype. Like, it doesn't bother me, I guess. I just don't understand why everyone's sucking his dick. Number 43, Enrique Iglesias. I feel like if I just accidentally sneezed in his direction, he'd fucking melt. Number 44, No Doubt. Gwen can sing amazingly. I don't know why she ever tried to do the solo thing. Way better with No Doubt. Loved their sound, loved their songs. Fun stuff. Number 45, Ariana Grande. Not bad, just I don't feel like any of her songs are original. She has a nice enough voice. I mean, I haven't heard her sing amazingly myself. Uh, don't get the hype, don't understand it. Number 46, One Republic. They annoy the piss out of me. It's like they had a whole album of like trying to be retro, but at the same time new and quote unquote edgy. And it just was like gross. If Brooklyn could be distilled into music, it would be One Republic. Number 47, Hootie and the Blowfish. They have a special place in my heart. I like their songs. Number 48, Ellie Golding. The best way I would describe her vocals is they're like a twig. Like if I breathed on her voice too hard, it'd fucking snap in half. Number 49, Sheryl Crow. I'd still fucking tap that today. I gotta give her credit. She wrote some really catchy shit in the 90s. Other than that, don't really have a strong opinion on her. Other than I'd tap that now today. Number 50, Nicki Minaj. The world's most prolific dropout from clown school. So that's the entire list, one through 50. Anyone else notice anything weird? Like how there is no, I don't know, Michael Jackson, Elvis Presley, the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, you know, guys who paved the way for half the fucking jokes on this list. I'm assuming what they're doing is saying these are the artists that are responsible for the 50 greatest songs of all time according to their dumbass list. And they have to be going by sales. If that's the case, adjust for inflation, motherfucker. The Beatles, Elvis, and Michael Jackson defined icons. The two closest people I can see on this list offhand that remotely come close to being iconic are Eminem and Beyonce. I don't even think Beyonce should be considered an icon, but that's outside of my control. But yeah, this list is disgraceful, just like Billboard. Those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, if you like what I do here, please support me on Patreon. This is my job as a YouTuber, so Patreon is the only way I can keep this my job. It's the only way I can keep making videos. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Become the Night. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Rock on!